Major Nightmare, Hammerhead Worms These are not your father's earthworms. In fact, earthworms and slugs are their favorite foods. They're technically flatworms as evidenced by their flattened bodies. Bipolyam worms are carnivores, known to prey on earthworms, slugs, insect larvae, and each other. The worms detect prey using chemoreceptors located under the head or ventral groove. Hammerheads are known predator of earthworms that are necessary for the health of our forests, crops, gardens and compost piles. Hammerhead worms have been mistakenly called hammerhead slugs because they move in a slug-like fashion. Hammerhead worm heads come in different sizes. They pose no danger to you unless you pick one up, as the slime might cause skin irritation. Due to the toxin, nothing much eats them except other hammerheads. Thanks to the half-moon shape of their heads, hammerhead worms are known by many names, including hammerhead flatworm, arrowhead flatworm, and broadhead planarian, a category of flathead worms. Native to Southeast Asia, hammerhead worms have been found in parts of the United States since 1980 and have become invasive around the world. Like the hammerhead shark, the hammerhead worm gets its moniker from its distinctive spade-shaped head. It has a long, flattened body that ranges from 8 to 15 inches. And it can be found in shades of gray, brown, gold, and green. The worm secretes a potent neurotoxin, tetrodotoxin, which it uses to immobilize its prey and deter predators. The noxious chemicals it releases can cause skin irritation in humans and trigger nausea in animals who consume the worms. Because hammerhead worms consume beneficial worms, secrete poisonous toxins, and transmit harmful nematode parasites, they should be removed whenever found. This flathead worm was first brought to the United States in horticultural plants and has been found in greenhouses since 1901. They have since spread to coastal regions, where they enjoy tropical and subtropical conditions, but they've been documented in greenhouses everywhere. Like the earthworms they devour, they need the moist environment of the soil. Like their prey, they can often be found on top of the soil after a rain. Should I kill hammerhead worms? Yes, but first take a photo and send it to your local cooperative extension service your state's Department of Natural Resources. To keep hammerhead worms at bay, apply boric acid to the soil in your garden every two weeks to create an acidic environment in which hammerhead worms can't survive. Thank you. Hope you liked this video. If you like this video, please share with your friends, and don't forget to click the subscribe button.